That's actually a pretty good feeling fish. He's stripping drag. What's up guys? Doing another bank fish trip tonight. Um, well, last night, doing something a little bit different as well. I'm doing a little uh, collaboration with uh, Wayne with Tree Limb Fishing. Him and his uh, brother-in-law met me out here. And uh, we're gonna set up and do an all night trip. See if we can get into some fish. And uh, as you'll see, we got into a few. It was definitely a tough night, but we did catch some fish. So I'll let you guys check that out to give you a quick idea of what we're doing. Um, we're throwing anywhere from three feet to 30 feet deep. We've got a range of uh, lines out there, or, or depths out there, and we've got a pretty good variety of bait. Um, we're set up here on uh, Tuckertown Reservoir, so we're gonna see if we can get into some fish. So you guys stick around and uh, check out the footage. All right, guys, so tonight I got a variety I'm gonna be throwing out. I got a little bit of gizzard shad, some bluegill, uh, chicken, and I've also got a sucker here in the cooler i'll cut up later tonight so let's get baited up and see what happens yep yeah, we're hooked up see if i can get him in and get the skunk out of here he ran way on down with it and he's all the way down past this one you mind um grabbing that rod yeah you're good. Thanks, man. <laughs> He's funky. Got him. Heck yeah. Well, got him one. Skunk is out. He is still just as green. Come on, bud. Well, I'll be good. All right, guys, there's the first one tonight. Skunk is finally out. That's been a three week skunk, skunk fest for me. So glad to finally hook up with one. He came, I think, on a piece of uh, cut gizzard shad. So get baited back up, toss him back, and uh, hopefully we'll catch some more. Bye bye, buddy. I thought I was going to need to revive him, but I think he's still got plenty in him. All right, y'all, this is home for the night. It's cozy. Got him? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Get them closer and then I'm about to go under all these rods. I'll grab the net here in just a second. I don't know where my bell went. In the water. Huh? In the water. <laughs> Set up. <laughs> Need a net or can you flip them? Probably flip them. Oh yeah. That's channel cat. Alright, that one. Hopefully it'll stay on. That's actually a pretty good feeling fish. He's stripping drag. You need reeling really well? That's a real good fish. Ah, uh, nah, it's good. That's a nice one. That's on uh, Gizzard Shack. Yeah. He's on the left side of the floor. Yeah. He's coming around though. That's a good fish. It's bigger than the last one. But I gotta get them in. We're having bad luck getting fish in tonight. 
Look, he made a little wake coming across here. Let me see if I can get this clicker off. Alright, he's coming right on up. Oh, that's a good blue. Good, good blue. I'm out here in my socks, y'all. All right, you ready? All right. Yeah, that's a nice, nice, nice blue. All right, guys. This definitely tops my night off right here. Got this one on a piece of cut gizzard shad in about three, four foot of water back there. Definitely uh, excited to see this fish. So. I'm gonna get a couple pictures of him, toss him back, and uh, get baited back up. Oh! All right. Time to go, buddy. Let go of my finger. He still wound up. You can feel the tension in his tail. I think he ought to take on off pretty good here. Make sure. There he goes. guys breakfast is served bacon egg and a uh, potatoes hey, all right guys that is it we've packed up um, we're gonna take it on to the house it was definitely a uh, pretty tough night we had a lot of takedowns but uh had a hard time getting the fish to hook up, but we did manage to catch a few and we got one good fish as y'all saw. So tickled to catch that fish. Definitely uh, appreciate having Wayne here as my net man. Um, I probably wouldn't have gotten that fish in without him because he was not hooked good. So thanks a lot for being here and helping me out with that Wayne. And also thanks for helping with the camera footage. It was nice to have a extra set of hands to do some recording for me and, and just a to hold some of the equipment when I was jumping back and forth between fish so I, I really appreciate your help with that uh, Wayne so you guys make sure y'all jump over and check out Wayne's channel he's got a channel called tree limb fishing uh, he does cat fishing and crappy fishing he's got some really good tips on there as far as a uh, crappy and I think white perch as well and uh, if you're in the kayak fishing he did a, a, a nice uh, trolling motor job on his uh, native kayak which he did a little tutorial on so that's a pretty neat setup he's got. So y'all make sure y'all check him out. But uh, either way, I appreciate all you guys watching the video. Um, if you're on social media, check out my Instagram and Facebook, which is Rock Bottom Cats. And if you're local to North Carolina, check out NC Catfishing. Um, we broke 4,300 members the other day, and uh, we're still growing. So great group of guys, a lot of great information on there. So check that out. Send a request, and I'll make sure to add you. Once again, I appreciate everybody watching the videos. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.